I'm not going to talk about this guy on my main channel, although I am sort of doing it now, but I had to share this on Twitter. That that armchair bloke. <laughs> that armchair bloke, look. He painted up some, some paintings. <laughs> some of the worst artwork you've ever seen. Like, you know, child wouldn't bring that home and ask you to put it on the fridge. Just shonked it together in five minutes so he can auction it on his channel and make some money <laughs> what a grift what, a, what an amazing grift look at the daubed on and to, to do a piece where you write on it in letters that shows artistic skill because you haven't been able to express what you wanted to in the picture so you've decided to use words instead Leonardo da Vinci could have taken some some notes from that, couldn't he? And she just daubed Starry Night. Was it? Was it Vincent Van Gogh? Starry Night. Just daubed Starry Night across, across Starry Night. That's that done. Let that dry or sell that on eBay. What's this? What is this? It's like an insight into the mind of a, a madman. Up for sale, auction. I don't know if he sold them. I don't know if he made some money on his auction, but uh, he was definitely desperate for money so in some some mad I don't know what this one is yeah I don't know what this one is but it's got AD on it as a it's got AD at the bottom there as a signature but it's also part of the collar of the character and uh, I don't know if it's supposed to be Dr. Spock or George Best or I don't know what it is there's some handcuffs in the background No, it's all glommed on. All the paint's been glommed on. It's fuck. I don't. I don't want to talk about that chuffer on this channel. You know, like I'm not here to, you know, raise his name on my channel because, like, fucking idiot that he is. But this had to be looked at. It had to be looked at. Do you know what I mean? It had to be looked at, and just for you, so you can have a laugh. So that you can have a laugh, right? Let's have a look. I mean, it has to. It has to be, doesn't it? It has to be just so you can have a laugh. I mean, look at this one. This one says free speech. Where's the full copy of it? Where's the full copy? This one says free something, and it's got a hammer in the back of his head. Look, it's obviously supposed to be his head, and it's like bashing his brains in. Very allegorical. Very allegorical. The lashes. Emma on the lashes. Emma on the lashes. Like, we should do a full... St if I wanted to, this is going to have to be beast. This is why I need a B-side stream. Yeah, it's because I'm not going to talk about this on my main channel. Although I am doing so now. Ha <laughs> ha um, But, uh, you know, like, this is fucking weird. Like, the fact that you've decided to do it. I, I think it's in oil, not acrylic. And I think that's why it's so glommed on all this paint. Because I don't think it has a real concept of how the oil paint works. You can see the canvas in parts see through to the canvas in parts it, it's very bad like in terms of quality like bad art and then on top of the bad art like something you shouldn't really be doing um ad's getting sued it's why he's selling his work yeah i'm, I'm aware that he's being I'm, I'm going to dig into that conversation i'm hoping to get somebody on to talk to me about it to explain it to me you know on uh i do artwork don't i yeah not well, i do sort of art yeah i'm an artist i would say but not like i'm not a renaissance painter but yeah um I don't do this. I tell you what, I don't do this. Uh, thank you, Sarah, for the 9.99. Thank you very much for that, though. It will make him even more angry to see that you're super chatting me uh, while I'm critiquing his terrible, terrible artwork. Um, this one has got in the flags, and it's got YouTube on the bottom and a, a dollar sign, and it's got like these chains. Am I to see this man is chained to this American flags? And chained to the the YouTube, and there's a flag that here that's yellow, and like there's the the sun is also angry. Like what the fuck is going on? Art uh, is titled Shackled. What's free speech worth? More than money? Are you ready to protect it on YouTube? One man will not rule who can talk and who can't. AD can't lose YouTube is for the people to have an opinion. If you want to control my mind, let me know what I'm allowed to think. Let the games begin. <laughs>
<laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I should share my work. I'll show you some of my work. I'll show you some of my work. Um... I, you know, I won't be able to find my own channel now. I had a now defunct channel. Uh, what would I have put on it? Um, so this is a piece that I made. What if you could do SEO? How can it have adverts on it, man? The channel's defunct. Uh, this is me. This is book sorting, or can you organise your thoughts, presented at the Stratford Art House. I'm interested in how people think, and this is a way of giving people a space to think about how they think. Book sorting is a piece that people can get involved with. It talks about how they organise their thoughts in an analogue setup rather than something digital. The idea is that people can come to the Stratford Art House, they can write thoughts on the spine of the books, more people will be able to add their thoughts and to rearrange them. And each book kind of represents a thought, or it will do when people have written on them. I've got a YouTube channel specialising in ASMR, which is a sort of tingly feeling people get from different sensations, different stimulus, stimuli. That ASMR channel led me into creating this piece because I made a video where I was sorting books with the same idea to give people a space to think about how they organise their thoughts. And this is a physical representation of that piece. There you go. So I left that up. I didn't go back and take a video at the end, which is what I should have done. Uh, I left that up at the art house. It looks like just some bookshelves with white books on it. But, you know, you're free to go and write your thoughts on the books and interact with it. And then after a period of time, I mean, it's in the art house. You know, it's like in a room in the art house. So the art house was a good place to put it, wasn't it? The, the local, it's a venue, the art house. It's not still there, of course. That's now changed hands and gone. Like, that's gone in the bin as well. But uh, for a while it was up there, paintings on the walls. You know, you walk around, you have a little look, you pick up the pen, have a mess on the books. Um, so that was my artwork. It's a conceptual piece. So that's me. Um, and then this, this, on the other hand, is uh, oils on canvas. And it represents how YouTube is shackling free speech. And uh, I mean, it's ridiculous, of course, even the concept behind it. Um, what's this one? Self portrait. Crime time. What? He's written the word crime at the top. I love it. And green paint has got. Sp I think this is a sp any mistake, isn't it? That green line. I think green paint's got spilled, and he's thought, fuck it, how am I going to get that off? Just leave it. The dollar sign has come into it again. Big on the dollar signs. Uh, it signed it there. Didn't need to really because it's going to go straight in the bin. Um, and again, daubed on to create this textured look for the skin, which looks like they've been wrinkled like a raisin, like they've spent too long in the sea, or they've, um, you know, it, it, it not it, no skill or technique here, just daubed on quick. Uh, you, you've chosen the wrong medium, actually. You'd be better off using something like Photoshop or um, even look. See this one, free speech, and they're in a prison. Like, you'd be much better off just using uh, an artificial... Uh, welcome to the modern world, AD. Um, we looked at this on stream before, this app that can do this for you. You'd be much better off with this, really, wouldn't you? Uh, if I just write a prompt like, uh, free speech. The thing about art, prison... The thing about art is that you shouldn't have to write the words. That's, uh, that's sign design. That's print production. Ah, you should be able to get feelings from the things you're seeing. That's the concept. Like you, you, you share feelings in the space between the artwork and the person who's viewing it. Someone does the artwork, somebody else does the viewing, and in between it is the feelings. And that's how you sort of create art. Uh, what you're doing there where you're like drawing pictures and writing words on it isn't really so much art as like sign design or decoration. Uh, you, the concept here is you're in a prison and free speech and why have you written the word free speech and put the dollar sign on the S again why have you done that like, it's weird if anything weird yeah like weird is the best way to, to, to oh it's an error couldn't do free speech prison for me let's give it a more artistic uh, option there create because I'm not giving it a start point either I'm not giving it a picture to go on but I could give it a sort of input picture but I'm just going to give it the, there we go look there it comes 
free speech prison it's giving me. There's a free speech prison. I mean, that's an artistic interpretation of a computer. It looks 10 times better than what AD did. I just, if I was him, I'd just do that. And then just blag people that they, these are my artworks because, like, that's the best he's going to get. Um, that's very prisony, isn't it? The speech option, like, where's the speech? You have to write free speech on it to indicate speech, otherwise, it doesn't, you know, you want to make sure speaker, let's put speaker. Make sure that's, that pr the speech aspect is really, really involved. And do you need this? Do you need a special piece of artwork to represent the the shutting down of free speech? Because like, I'm guessing, and it's only a guess, but I'm guessing that other people might have approached that sort of topic. You know, like Nelson Mandela was in prison for a long time, wasn't he? Um, they've actually written free on there. The AI's gone for it as well. <laughs> Dear, but uh, free speech artworks like my guess is that there's going to be quite a few existing like quite good like there's a much more image based like this see what i mean like if you, you start with an image you don't need to write the words on it i guess it becomes a lot, a lot more powerful because of the, the way the image is um i don't know if there's any particularly famous ones but uh, these guys have written freedom of speech guys girls anyone has written freedom of speech at the top um but you didn't need to because you have a tongue being cut out like you know there are other ways of showing it aren't there I wonder if there's any particularly famous pieces about freedom of speech that we could recognise as, as a society. I actually think personally, now I'm investigating this as an artist, that these artworks, these placards, are the artworks of freedom of speech. They are the artworks. Like, they're people literally uh, putting on a, po like a poster the thing they want to say to be free to say and holding it up. I'm not going to be silenced. So I think there's something in that. I think you'd probably start your artwork here. And then you'd investigate placards and, you know, go through and have a look at the different protest movements and different kinds of placards that there have been and, and banners. And then you'd, you'd start constructing your own, maybe, like something like that. Or the other option is just draw a prison and write free speech on it in oil paint. Like, but you can see the canvas through it at places. Like, this can just go straight in the bin. I wonder what he thinks with about, I wonder what he's doing with his time, like, you know, I wonder how he's got into this mess. Look at it. Uh, welcome to Ted, welcome to Hell Ted, this one's called, Ted Bundy. He needs to raise 30 grand, so he's done that. Today I gave £10 to UNICEF, maybe I should be giving it to him, because he looks like a fucking charity case, doesn't he? Sorry, I'm not going to spend too long slagging him off at the end of the episode, but I just thought it was worth it, you know, bringing it up because it just popped into my head and it was a laugh. Look at this. Is that his dog? Winnie, my boy. So he's trying to leave Winnie's dog now. Winnie's looking at him like, we've well, fucking gone out, mate. I wish we could go for a nice walkie. Look at him, Winnie looking at him. Scary. I don't like it. Probably the better of all the efforts. Still, we've got... What's with this dramatic, vivid colours? Like it's garish on the eye, isn't it? It's garish on the eye. It's not pleasant to look at. I don't know what the effect he's going for. Like peanut butter smeared on the fridge, maybe. Um, he wants money, yeah. He, he's looking for 30 grand to fight legal fees or some shit. He wants 30 grand. At least he's blatant enough and like brazen enough to outright to say it. I couldn't understand how anyone would want to give him 30 grand to piss up the wall. Put himself into this mess. Had all the donuts. All the way along. All the, I, th I, th I believe he's getting sued because of the things he said on his YouTubes. So all the way along he's took all the donations for it. Now he's getting sued. He wants your money. Obviously if I get sued I'll be right here to take your money. So don't fucking think I wouldn't. I'll be asking for donations. It depends who, it depends who you're fighting doesn't it? Depends who you're fighting. Maybe it is peanut butter. Yeah, maybe he ran out of paint and uh, he just decided to use peanut butter instead because fuck it. Like, how is it possible? Who's like, if you want to buy it, email with your bid. If you want to give me money, send me an email with the amount of money you want to give me. And I'll see if I'll accept it. Are you fucking nuts? <laughs> Are you fu I, Honestly... 
like, I tell you what, it shows an, a, a, like someone in chat earlier was saying about, uh, I'm sorry, I don't keep up with everything. All that, I should pick you out and look in this scroll back. Uh, yeah, Sally, you said you do, you do art. I think other people said they did art as well. Like, you know how difficult it is to do, you know, the effort, the struggle, you know, the um, ideas, the passion, the craft, the skill. To watch somebody just shonk together this bollocks and then try and flog it online, yeah, to the uninitiated eye, it might look like oh, I can get away with this. Like, it, it shows a real condescension for the entire artwork world. Anyone who's worked hard on a piece, anyone who gives some time and passion to that love and joy, uh, like... Look what he's done. He thinks he thinks he's worth free money for, for for bollocks. Money for old rope, that's what I'd call that. Money for old rope, yeah? So if his approach to this, the artwork, is money for old rope, I wonder what his approach to his content is. Money for old rope, mate. <laughs> you ain't getting any money out of me. <laughs> Unisex. This one's called unisex. It shows we don't matter. We're all one. That could be a man or a woman. I mean, if it's a woman, it looks pretty fucking. Anyway, um, Emma White crossed with Doctor Spock, mate. Emma White crossed with George Best. Uh, it used to be usually clothes were designed for both men and women. Is that a man or a woman? Doesn't matter. You choose whatever suits you and your inner thoughts. Politically correct. That one. Gone for the sort of. Gone for a haircut to symbolise... I suppose haircut and lips, is it, that symbolises... Or is it the, the eye makeup? Is it the eyes? Is that what symbolises the androgyny in this image? <laughs> Bit of a pixie cut. So, could be a boy or a girl. I don't know. Roll them on their front, I'll still shag them. Right, what do you want about armchair detective? <laughs> Fucking hell, you're a bit weird. I'm glad that you did these paintings, though, because it's given us a bit of an insight, hasn't it? Bit of insight. Right, you've had a bit of extra there from me. A bit of mean... I said I wouldn't say his name on the channel because, you know, I'll only incite him now, won't I? He'll only get his egg on now, won't he? He'll only get his fucking egg on. But he did that. This isn't about anything else. This is about having fun on this episode. And uh, he did that, and there it is. So I'm glad that I did it, really, because... Fucking hell. Haven't you seen it? Uh, 